congruency example 3. Okay, in the figure over here, A, E and B, D bisect each other. So what does that mean? So A, C and C, E will be equal. And B, C and C, D will be equal. So now questions is, we have a triangle A, B, C. We need to find out what are the corresponding points. So A will correspond to E. And B will now correspond to the point D. And we will have C as a common point that they share among each other. Stating your reasons clearly, so hence we need to write the proof. So we will know that uh, in triangle ABC and the matching in order will be triangle EDC. Now let us look at the information that we have. We know that uh, AC and CE are equal to each other. But we must write with the correct labeling. So in this case, we will have AC to be equals to EC. And write a reason. You can either write that um, AE bisect BD. Or you can just simply say, if you re don't really know, then you can just put given. Okay. The next one, what is the other information that we have? We know that BC is of the same length as CD. But we have to write it in the correct order. So in this case, I will have BC to be equals to DC and the reason given or you can write AE bisect BD so now let us think we have already a side and another side so let us recall our angle uh, congruent property test I have side 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 angle side angle side angle and RHS so we already have two sides. So out of these two, the one has two sides is uh, SAS or SSS. Okay, but we don't have a measurement for the third side. We know AB is 5, but I cannot assume DE is also 5. But what else do we have? I can have an angle. So this angle over here, these two angles, ACB, DCE, they are actually vertically opposite angles so now i can make use of this angle to write my third reason angle a c b please match make sure you match the labeling so it will be e c d and the reason vertically opposite angles so now we have the S, A, S, and we make sure that this angle is actually in between the two sides. So it's an included angle. Then we write our statement. Therefore, triangle A, B, C is congruent to triangle E, D, C. Make sure the labeling is correct and by the SAS property. Okay, now part B, since I know that they are congruent, so if I want to find DE, DE actually matches with BA, which is actually 5CM. That's it. 